City Council Back. President Harold Wells up here this morning. Y'all said y'all were packed last night. We were packed last That's night. That's unusual. Large crowd. Yeah, it's a little unusual. Sure is. But so, there's a lot of things that we were talking about last night brought the public out. Well, I mean, did you keep everybody calm? Anybody get out of line? Everybody stayed calm last night. It was a real well-behaved crowd. It just took us longer than it's ever took us to get through it. Really? All the way through <laughs> A through Z, and it started back. Hmm. All right, what were some of the major topics? The recycling thing, we'll talk about in a second. I'm yes. assuming the uh, renovation of that old church, I mean, the old school building. That was that was big. It sure and was. And then last the library. Y'all going to two and a half we, million dollars to the library? We approved the bids wow. last night. They were back and they came in like at 2.4, so we did a special resolution to approve them to, to apply the bids to go forward. Now it's up to Limestone County to do the same thing, and they will. All right. My Sweetwater has nothing to development down in Limestone County that Limestone County Commission Stanley Menifee is not going to give any money to. That has nothing to do with the Athens City Council. Has nothing to do with us at all. They have not formally asked us for anything. Hey, before I forget it, where is the new Home Depot going to be located? <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait till Mayor Ronnie's on here. I really don't know, but I hope it's right out here. I know it's on Highway Well, I can tell you where it's going to be. It's going to be on Highway 72 East. Well, I, but I just don't yes. know the exact location, but you probably do. No, I really don't. But it is coming. I hope it is. No, you, it is coming. I hope it the is. The reason yeah. I know it's coming. Yeah. It's yeah. Coming. yeah. Harold. We're putting the sewer in. Look at me, Harold. We're, that's right. We're uh, Home Depot in. is going to be opening in Athens sometime with probably the next year. I got that from a very reliable source. Got to give a shout out to Randall, who works at Home Depot. Had a booth set up at Earth Day thing inside the limestone. He said, Home Depot is coming to Athens. I say, well, yeah. On Highway 72 <laughs> East, correct? That's what I hear. Okay. That's all I wanted to know right there. That's all I wanted to know. All right. He's right. Let's yeah. go to the recycling. You said you were you voted against it. I had to vote against it because you got no place in your garage. I just got no room. We, it's a button. That's where we're all at at Canebrake. I want to give a shout out here yeah. to the Decatur Daily this morning. It says uh, starting August first, City Sanitation Department employee Dustin Hill will no longer have to get out in the rain and cold or risk his life in traffic to pick up recycling. That, yeah, that's a good thing. He was there. That's last a good night. thing. It is a good thing. I mean, give a shout sure out to that, that guy because that is a dangerous job. It is. Yeah. It sure is. I've seen him literally out in the rain, yes. sifting through these cans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, I'm noticing I've had to borrow a garbage can from my next door neighbor, Bill Dunham. <laughs> he had a new garbage can, new look, kind of smaller than the one I got now. If somebody wants new garbage cans, how do they get them? All you got to do is call voice. Public Works and tell them, give them your address. They'll bring you right out a brand new one. Pick up your. We don't have to pay anything. Don't have to pay a thing. Well, what if you want two garbage cans? Uh, they'll, they'll, if you need to, you can get to. If really? you've got a can I tell them I know you? Tell, you? tell them you know me. That'll do it right there. Oh, good. Get us two new garbage cans. Now, who do we call again? Public Works. Public Works. Yeah, right, no, that's three. Right. That's right. how he said we, and he pointed at me. Who yeah, he did. Because I'll forget it as soon as I walk out of here. The big thing was a lot of people there. What is the, the restoration of the uh, Fort Henderson site, Harold? Well, uh, Jamie, you know, that's an old fort that was there back in the 1800s, and I'm not a history buff when it comes to that at all, but uh, it means a lot to that community. They want to restore that. Was that a school also? That was, it was a school Trinity after school. the fort. Okay. That's where Trinity School was established. Jimmy Gill was a graduate there. Jimmy, he is a graduate of there and a star basketball player. Tell him I said that. <laughs> uh, and and Jimmy, uh, what they've done, they've put a committee together by a bunch of good people, and they're going to try to restore the old fort and make it a, a museum-like and a, a place that the community can come back to, their graduates and stuff like that. I think they're planning to do some after-school work with some of their youth. So that you know that's good, and uh, that's it's created a lot. What of What is the physical condition of that property? Oh, it's in bad shape. It, it, it's terrible shape. It's, uh, now, we did approve last night only to apply for a grant to get them to do that. I think it's a 200 something thousand dollar grant we applied for. Who it, determines if it's worthy of all this effort that's going to go into this? Well, they've got a board and a committee. It's not, nothing to do with us. And they're the ones that studying all this. And they've decided that it is worth restoring the part that you see. Mm -hmm. I know it'll be a lot of work, but hopefully they're going to get it done. So that's, I'm wow. sure that's a long time process. Well, yeah, that will, it'll, it'll probably take a, a period of a couple of years or something. 
going forward to do. Right. What else did y'all discuss last night with such a big crowd? Jamie, we had a lot of discussion last night about the city policy. We're changing the overtime pay. We're changing compensation pay. The whole city policy last night was pretty well looked at. We've let our, we have allowed our employees to build up an enormous amount Dang. of comp time. And so last night we changed that. Now a city employee can only have 48 hours worth of comp time. And they was they could carry hundreds of hours. So they need really? to use it. They need to use it. Yes. If now you can only if you don't carry it over, you cannot carry it over but 48 hours. And if you you you've got to take it, are you going to lose it? It's just that simple. That's and we looked at the whole city policy. Anytime you get into those discussions about the policy within the employees, it, it creates a lot of a lot of talk, and you get a lot of feedback. You sure do. All right, well, some other things. Now, I know the cane break did not want this the new bins in it because, you, like you said before, a lot of people live in patio homes. They can't get them in their garage. So, Jamie, that will y'all have to change some of the bylaws down at cane break? No, Jamie, they're not going to do that. We ha I had personal really? discussions with cane breaks management. Our covenants, Jamie, like I told them last night, when we move there, you've got a list of covenants that you sign off right. on. Jamie, we all agreed to this, and I, I don't want to see them change either because it protects our neighborhood. And we must keep our garbage carts inside, stow away. And Jamie, this would require us to put another one in our garage. And it's just not room. Mm -hmm. Jamie, it's, we can barely walk between two cars. You literally have to almost turn sideways. Because we live in the patio homes, right. you know. And it's just not enough rooms. So that's the feedback I got from all my neighbors. So if it's on you don't need any mulch break. done in the yard, do you? We can come over and do <laughs> no. it. We got a new business on the side. <laughs> we do not. I do need some work. I do need some. You're glorious. Does that mean that there will be drop off locations for cane break folks that want to still participate? Okay, I'm sure there will. And I'm going to get with uh, Earl Glaze today mm -hmm. and ask him that question and see if it is because uh, recycling is a great thing. We all know that. And, you know, I don't want to just quit recycling. I will take mine to the drop off point mm -hmm. and only speak for myself. Right. Sure will. I know it's Casablanca open downtown. It yesterday. is. It is. I hadn't got to go. It's just open, hadn't it? Yeah, yesterday yeah. was the first day. Do you yeah. have any idea when IHOP is officially going to open? Uh, this week, I believe, maybe yesterday. I know they were supposed mm -hmm. to open up, but yeah. we were by there yesterday at Logan's for lunch. I don't think they were open. They were. Yet. I think it's this week. What is um, with Dairy Queen opening up? Is that going to? Is that road going to have to be extended on across the creek there? Is that going to be a? Jamie, I don't think there's any plans. I haven't heard anything to go across the creek because, as you know, it goes down almost to the creek now. Right. And, man, they are really going strong with that. They, I went by there yesterday, and they put the framing work up. So Dairy Queen will soon be a reality here in Athens. Hmm. Looks like things will shaping up pretty good here for the city of Athens. Jamie, it is going good. It sure is. It's uh it's going real good. Had a good crowd at Earth Day. We just shared some of that yeah, video. That yeah, was a, I was a little surprised with that crowd. I, I, I enjoyed that. Kind of a big turnout. Yeah, it sure did. I saw y'all there and get a chance. To All right, uh, let me go over something with you here. Council President Harold Wells, does your job rank among the 10 worst for 2013? It says here, City Council President of any place with 20,000 or more, not on this chart. So you got a good job. <laughs> I got a good job. I sure have. Worst job, okay? Newspaper reporter. <laughs> so wow. it's, it's here right Absolutely. now because a newspaper job because newspapers are going out of business thanks to the internet and other things. Right. And then it says here lumberjack would be number two. <laughs> I don't know many lumberjacks around this part of the country. Me. I don't know either. Military personnel. Really? Hmm? What is this? Actor. Oh. Says here they got 160,000 members, but only 66,000 work full time. Hmm. Dairy farmer. Mm -hmm. Well, you know how to churn. That's a tough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was raised on a farm. That's a tough job. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know how to churn. <laughs> yeah. I just don't demonstrate it no more. Mail carrier, <laughs> technology, social media that have led to the snail mail being obsolete. <clears throat> Roofer was ranked number nine. Mark Evans. Long hours <laughs> and the elements coupled with low pay are just two of the reasons this profession is on the list. Flight attendant. One of the easiest jobs here, it says, television co host. Oh, boy. <laughs> co host. I made that oh, up. That's you. Co host. Huh? You're my co host. Yeah, I, I made that up. <laughs> I probably will be before long. So, anyway, Harold, doing a great job there with City. Anything else we need to know about uh, things at City Hall? Jamie, hey, we'll come on and let y'all know as quick as we hear something. But, you, <laughs> hey, just 
proud to be here and City Hall's doing good. By the way, the I know they went to work on the new City Hall. I saw the gravel spread. Yeah, they're spreading yeah, the gravel. Y'all got any time when y'all can participate uh, or, or anticipate uh, final completion? Jamie, I think it'll be about two years. Two it's years. Uh, roughly two years, uh, yes. Okay. Hopefully quicker. Ronnie's hoping quicker, and I am too, but I think about two years. That's right. a big building. Hmm. All right, and thanks for the wow. shout out on the country rovers. Tell me about what a good job I used to do. Hey, I love it. 20, rovers. 30 years ago. I watch them all. Hey, speaking of country rovers, I saw one of my favorites run over the Monday and then this morning at 4 o'clock. My little buddy Ted Adams. Misty, when you see him, your granddaddy's in this too. Anything else we need to go before I go to the story? I don't think so. Yeah, Harold Gannon and War Eagle, buddy. Y'all had a War great turnout. They cut the trees down today. Hey, that's right. Yeah. They're big gone. John Dees called it Harvey Updike Appreciation Day. Yeah. He was down there. They Saturday. showed him Saturday on the game. <laughs> Did they? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I didn't know that, but anyway, I didn't. I didn't. I barely watched any of the Alabama game. It was too boring for me. But yeah, hey, I didn't want. We didn't want to give away a whole lot of stuff. Anyway, I did this story back in Athens. I think 1987. I think's the date on this. There was a service called Craig's uh, Service Station downtown. It was. Hey, do you remember him working? Yeah, there? oh, I do. I sure do. Four foot tall and 63 pounds. Uh, when y'all see him, Big I, heart. Yeah, Big I, I called him a year ago and he said he was too busy to do a rover revisited. He's so maybe y'all can talk to him, talk him into it. We need 30 minutes of your time, Ted. <laughs> Here's that country rover story from downtown Athens in 1987, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Adams never was much for playing basketball, but when it comes to pumping gas, there's no one any better. And this is the easy part. In case you haven't noticed, Ted Adams is a bit on the short side. Four feet tall to be exact, and 63 pounds soaking wet. But not much in size for a 54-year-old man, but big in heart in every way. Did ever bother you being short? Little, small. No, not really. You know, things only bother us if we want them to. If we all learn to cope with it, nothing to it. Ted Adams operates Craig's Texaco in Athens, and with the assistance of the handy water bucket, can do almost anything. Any words of wisdom you got to people to show it? Well, I don't know, Jamie. Just uh, do the best you can to enjoy life and be satisfied with what God gave you, I guess. Because one thing about it, you can't change it. <laughs> and you have to be jolly. Your legs are too short to run and you're too little to fight, so you better make friends. <laughs> There's only one thing Ted's friends know of that Ted can't do himself. He can't do his crank his outboard motor. He, you know, he had to pull it with a rope, and uh, he can't do that. He ain't heavy enough. He picked his little feet up yeah, off the floor. <laughs> if Ted Adams has any shortcomings, no one's ever heard of them because Ted Adams is a big man in a little body. And this water can is a lifesaver. In Athens, have your country rover, Jamie Cooper. What do you think of this, Ted? Gotta keep it, I guess. <laughs>